and welcome to the second tutorial of the WSO2 API Managers tutorial series. In the first tutorial, we looked at how to create and publish an API which could be used to get the weather details of a particular city. In this tutorial, we are going to look at how an application developer can use the WSO2's API store to register his applications and consume APIs. To start off with, you need to browse to the WSO2 API store and create yourself a an user account which could be used to register and consume APIs. You could create your account by clicking up on the sign up link and filling in the forms form with your user detail. Once your account is created, you can log in to the WSO2 API store by using your user credentials. Once you are logged in, you will see the APIs that are available for you. In this case, this API is publicly available and hence you could view it even without logging in. The first step after logging into the API store is to create yourself an application so that you can use that application to consume the APIs. You can create applications by clicking on my applications and providing your application details. I am going to call my applications application the weather app and your application could also have a throttling tier and it could also have a callback URL if it's a web application. You could create your application by clicking on the add button here. Once your application is created, you can click, you could click on this API and select the application that you just created and also select the throttling tier of that API you wish to subscribe to. In this case, this API has two tiers available which are gold and silver. You could choose either one of them to subscribe to the API. I am going to choose the gold tier to subscribe to my API. You could press on the subscribe button to create your subscriptions. Once your subscription has been created, you, you will be redirected to your my subscriptions page and in there you could generate the keys for your application. As you can see, once you press on the generate button, you are auto created a consumer key, a consumer secret and an access token. The consumer key and consumer secret are the credentials of your application. They represent your application and, I, and this consumer key and secret are used to uniquely identify and validate your application. It's like the credentials of a user, similar to a user's username and a password. The access token is an over 2 standard access token which you can use to access your API. The access token by default has a validity period of 1 hour. You could give a different validity period if you prefer and you could also regenerate the access token by using the regenerate button over here. Once your credentials have been created, you can now proceed to access the API. You could do that by using the inbuilt API console on the API store. As you can see this API has a get resource called weather and it expects a query parameter which would need to have the name of the city you wish to get the weather information for. In this case I am going to get the weather information of London. You could try this API out by pressing on this button and as you can see you would receive the weather details of that particular city as the API response. One thing to notice here is that the access token that you generated in the previous step was auto populated into this tool. Without this access token you will not be able to access the particular API. Let us now look at how we can use any other different client to access this API. In this tutorial I am going to use curl as a tool to access this API. You could use the following command to access your API. You need to provide the value of your access token as the authorization header. The way to do that is to provide the header name as authorization and the value in a bare field. I will go into the my subscriptions page and copy the value of this access token and paste it over here. I then need to provide the URL that I need to access to. The URL of the API can be taken from this section 
I will paste it over here and then the resource section of the API can be taken through the API console. In this case I have one get resource called weather and this API also expects a query parameter of the city. I can provide it over here and access this API. As you can see you can now receive the API response using any other REST client tool as well. In this tutorial we looked at how to subscribe to an API on the API store and access it using the inbuilt API console as well as any other REST testing tool. Thank you.